This week on Country Music Junkies, we have an artist not to introduce you to, but an artist to kind of catch up with, Mr. Dean Brody. Thank you so much for spending some of your morning with us. How are things going? They're going good. Yeah, we're getting ramped up for the summer festival circuit and just working on some production and some last minute things before the summer shows kick off. Absolutely. Now, I know you've been doing this for quite a while and I'm sure that every show is your favorite show, but is there anything this summer that you're really looking forward to? Oh, wow. Yeah, they are. They're all so different, right? Cavendish Beach Music Festival is pretty awesome because it's close to home. Like, usually I drive to that one. Oh, wow. And, uh, I bet so that doesn't kinda happen kinda too often. No, no, it's really, it's kind of neat, actually, just being able to drive and, and take in. It's a beautiful drive there, of course. That one's, that one's awesome because it's in the backyard and uh, just a great party. Absolutely. Well, I know that uh, you're kind of coming down off of a high from the Juno Awards winning the Country Album of the Year for Gypsy Road. What was that like? It was awesome. Yeah. Anytime you have your peers kind of go, hey, we, we, we dig what you're doing and they give you that uh, that approval, it, it means a lot. And and it's, uh, yeah, especially for an album, it's, a, it's kind of a compilation of the work that you've done and and so, yeah, the Juno just came actually a week ago. They give it to you on the show, but it, it, of course it's like a sh the show one, and they give you one that's inscribed and everything it comes in the mail about two months later. Right. So it's pretty cool, yeah. That is very cool. Now, someone who's been in the industry as long as you have, you've, you've racked up so many accolades. How does the Juno compare to any of the other accolades that you've, you've reached thus far in your career? Mm -hmm. It's a big one. Like the Junos are the music scene across Canada, so it's it's pretty cool. Like CCMA Awards are amazing. Um, it's almost apples and oranges. They're so different. Like the the one is industry, the country music industry, and then one is just the music industry in Canada. Right. So yeah, the Juno. It's it's awesome. It really means a lot. But then the the whole Canadian country music scene and that community. It's it's a real uh, encouragement when you get you get the approval of your peers and that uh, awards um, show as well. Absolutely. Now, I want to jump into your album, Gypsy Road. It's available for fans. You can head to deanbrody.com for that. Is there any song, I know your current single, Monterey, is out on radio now. There's an awesome video for that. But is there any song off that album that really is special to you? I know all songs are probably special, but is there anything that, that really kind of hits home to you or something that you're really, really proud of? I really love Castaways. I thought that song was just really, um, it speaks to just being able to get away from the, the hustle and the craziness of life. And and it's kind of an emotional song, like even instrumentally. The musicians just really poured their hearts into that. And, and it's, it's one of those songs that never goes to radio, but you just love, you just love working with it and making it a song and, and playing it live, so... I'd say probably Castaways is my favorite. Excellent. Well, again, fans, you can head to DeanBrody.com to check that out. Now, going back to festival season, you are all across Canada throughout the course of the summer. You're going to be at Boots and Hearts later this summer, and you're coming back to Lucknow's Music in the Fields. I know you were there a couple of years ago, which was a great show, really small town feel to that kind of show. Are you excited to be heading back to Lucknow as well? Yeah, it's been a while since we've been there. Like, I think it's been a couple of years. Yeah. We're pleased yeah. to be having you, you back in Ontario, for sure. Let's talk a little bit about CCMAs coming up in London in September. I know we'll definitely be looking forward to seeing you there. What do you have in store for Country Music Week? We're still working on the planning stages of that, that weekend, but it's always a blast going there. You get to catch up with other artists, and, of course, they have the fanfare there, which is always awesome. You get to interact with your fans and, and of course, without our fans, this wouldn't be possible, like the whole entire business. And so that's always something we look forward to. And, and uh, you know, we do run ac across each other different festivals during the summer and, and touring throughout the year. But you don't usually get a chance to just kind of hang out in hotel lobbies and stuff with, <laughs> with other artists. And like we do we, the thing, like the business that we're in is such a unique business that it's hard to find people that relate to what you do. And, and so being able to, for me to t hang out and talk with Dallas or Johnny or, or George, it's just, it's really cool and, and something we always look forward to. 
Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing you in London this September for the CCMAs. Now, if fans want to connect with you, they can come out to all of your shows. Again, deanbrody.com. You can check out all of Dean's dates there. But in terms of social media, how are you in terms of connecting with fans on there? Um, you know, I don't know. I guess there's other artists that are better at the whole <laughs> social media thing. <laughs> but I guess as far as I'm concerned, like, you, you won't see any pictures of me uh, about to get in the shower or anything. Or, you know, <laughs> you don't document your entire life. I don't know. I, I kind of, I kind of a, a hermit, I guess. When I get off the road, like I, we got some property here on the water, and um, just before I called you, I was out working with my dad. Oh, we got the tractor going, digging up rocks and stuff. And so I kind of, I kind of like when I'm doing music, I do full on music. I love it. When I come home, I'm pretty much, uh, especially this last two years, just working the land and building the house and. And building rock walls and that kind of stuff. So social media, I'm probably definitely not as uh, engaged as other artists would be. Right, but you still have it. You've got your Facebook, um, Facebook.com/slash Dean Brody and Twitter.com/slash Dean Brody. So fans, although he may not be the best at social media, he definitely still is <laughs> out there. So definitely check him out there and uh, follow along with his tour schedule. Thank you so much for your time today. Really appreciate it. Again, fans, head to DeanBrody.com for more information. And uh, yeah, best of luck with the rest of your summer. Uh, thanks, Patrice. We can't wait to get out to Ontario. All my guys are based, my band's based out of Ontario. So it's it's kind of their backyard. So it's, it's always fun going there and uh, some of the most passionate fans in the country. So looking forward to seeing you guys this summer. Perfect. We look forward to seeing you too. Thanks so much, Dean.